Hello everyone, welcome to Programming Cradle. Today in this video, we'll discuss about first mock interview of Applied AI course. And uh, I talked to Graham, he is one of the uh, students of Applied AI and he was kind enough to give me all the information about first mock interview. And he's also done with his uh, first self case study. So uh, yeah, he was, uh, he was very generous to uh, help and uh, he wanted to uh, contribute to the community so when i asked him can you tell me some of the specifics about the uh, mock interview so he was like okay fine uh, i can tell you so initially what i thought uh, we'll have a call and uh, we'll record it and then i can uh, play it uh, on youtube and you guys can hear it but because of some technical issues i couldn't uh, record the call so i simply asked him uh, questions and he answered all the questions and based on that i am making this video so yeah that's exactly what we'll be discussing in this video uh, but as always before moving further if you are new here or if you subscribe to this channel please go subscribe to the channel and be a part of programming career family and also hit the bell icon so that you get notified each time when a video goes live and uh, if you have anything specific you can always ask me in the comment section i will be more than happy to help you and if you end up liking this video please give it a thumbs up it keeps me motivated to make such videos for you guys now with that being said uh, let's start our discussion so let me first tell you a little bit about his background so he completed his uh, bachelor's in electrical and electronics engineering uh, in 2019 and uh, after that he did some uh, courses on uh, several platforms so he was not completely beginner before joining applied AI course he had some knowledge but it was not in depth so he had a uh, overview of machine learning and uh, he was uh, comfortable with python as well so yeah he had knowledge of programming and uh, other things but uh, uh, he was not very uh, into machine learning and all the mathematical and nitty gritty of machine learning and deep learning so yeah that is about his background and uh, now after that i asked him uh, what are the requirements uh, to apply for the interview uh, so what you need to do uh, now actually applied ai has uh, updated their uh, assignments portal and if you are already a part of applied ai course you can go to your uh, classroom and you can go to your assignments tab there you will find option of uh, 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 mock interview one and mock interview two so and when you click on that uh, you will find all the details about that but if you are not part of applied ai course uh, i will tell you what are the requirements so you need to complete uh, 15 mandatory assignments optional assignments won't be uh, considered so you need to complete 15 mandatory assignments and out of those 15 uh, assignments uh, 10 should be from machine learning and uh, 3 should be from uh, deep learning and you should have done at least two uh, course case studies so this is the requirement that you need to fulfill and uh, once you are done with uh, 15 assignments uh, you can uh, there you will find a google form link and you can go and you can fill that a uh, google form there you need to fill about your uh, background and uh, in which field you want to work uh, what are your target job roles what are what is your expected uh, salary and what was uh, your uh, previous salary or if you are a fresher or you have work experience all those things and then you have to upload your uh, pdf resume as well so you need to uh, do all these things and uh, then in that form uh, you will uh, schedule your interview as well so uh, i also asked him how long the interview goes so he told uh, somewhere around one hour uh, it can go beyond that uh, as well depending on the depth of answer that you are giving and they ask 10 questions uh, they test your programming skills they test your machine learning and deep learning uh, concepts as well till whatever you have completed machine learning you would have already completed because without completing uh, all the machine learning uh, content uh, you cannot do all the machine learning assignments so yeah you would have already completed your whole machine learning and maybe some part of deep learning as well so they will test your skills uh, in these departments so yeah they will ask you 10 questions and uh, uh, it will go for one hour and uh, how to uh, prepare for the uh, mock interview so you will get a question bank of around uh, 250 questions so uh, it's not like you will get all the questions from question bank so initial first few questions will be from uh, question bank but uh, depending on your answers and their follow-up question your uh, interview can go in any direction so 
whatever will be your answer uh, be sure that you know about it and then you are telling but actually it is a mock interview so you don't need to actually think about all those things because when you do mistakes in uh, mock interview they will probably give some feedback uh, for gram they didn't give any uh, feedback uh, but for a few other students they gave some uh, feedback so that is the thing it's not actually consistent that they give feedback to everybody but if you need some uh, feedback you can always ask them uh, where i did good and where i wasn't doing good uh, can you please give me some feedback you can always ask uh, them and they will be uh, happy to give you feedback uh, so now i will uh, try to tell you how was the difficulty level of the interview so as gram uh, told that he felt a little bit hard uh, the interview was on a harder side as he was not uh, well prepared and uh, because of that uh, few questions he just couldn't uh, answer but uh, also he applied on his own to some real interviews and when he attended those interviews he felt like uh, interviews are uh, very easy if not very easy at least it was uh, comparatively easier than applied as uh, mock interview but also he was uh, prepared is at this time but uh, one thing he told me that you need to be very uh, good with the terminology so maybe you know the concept but you don't know what you exactly call it so that might play against you in the real interview so you need to know the exact and specific terms because you might explain them but they are expecting that a particular keyword which i think is not actually very important but it can be important because it can be uh, it can be taken in any ways uh, but in my opinion why it is not important is because you know the concept but uh, what if there is something which you uh, don't know and when you are working on a project and if you know the keyword you will directly go and search for that keyword on google and you will get the relevant content and if you don't know those keywords it will be hard for you to search them on google and it will be time consuming for uh, the development purpose so maybe because of that uh, they were considering or they were expecting you to know uh, those keywords and maybe in that case uh, those keywords are important so it can be anything uh, but th this is just my thought what do you think you can always uh, let me let us know in the comment section maybe uh, it can help help other people as well so uh, yeah uh, if i uh, i have actually here noted down the points uh, so uh, let me see if i have missed something or not so uh, i think i have covered everything but uh, still if i uh, think uh, that i missed something i will post it in the comment section and i will pin it or i will put it in the description uh, so that you can uh, read later so so far i think uh, this is all but if you have anything specific or if you want to know anything else you can always uh, ask me in the comment section or you can join telegram group as well gram is there he has helped so many people there and he he was very kind enough to uh, contribute towards the community so yeah you can join a telegram group as well and you can directly uh, uh, post your questions there and uh, there are so many people and everybody is trying to help each other so we have a very good community there and i am actually very proud of that community so yeah uh, you can post your comments or questions there as well you can post your comments in the comment section also i will try to answer that to the best of my knowledge so yeah uh, to end this video i would like to request you to subscribe to the channel it's completely free uh, but it keeps me motivated to make such videos for you guys and also give this video a thumbs up and uh, press that bell icon so that you get notified about all the videos that i post and i try to post uh, some useful content and probably it is helping you guys and when i get uh, feedback from people that yes these videos are actually helping them it uh, makes me really happy so yeah uh, with that i will finish this video hope to see you in the next video Bye.